I think that's it too. So we started the day over. We fixed some things that went wrong the first time. Yeah, and so <clears throat> right. So after uh, waking up on the morning of the of the of the putting of the putting fair the first time, and uh, going around and participating in several events and meeting uh, several people. <clears throat> You uh right then then eventually made your way to, uh, the pudding uh, tent where you uh, found Elsie Rumknuckle, and uh, Gonk grabbed a hold of her despite her efforts to try to get away. Then you witnessed a gnome uh, try to. Well, he he seemed to be upset about something, and and in in his anger turned the mayor into a frog, and he mm -hmm. stormed out of the tent, running out of town, where you guys followed. Uh, along with uh, Elsie Rumnuckle, not sorry, not Elsie mm -hmm. Rumnuckle, uh, Nanny Cowslip, mm -hmm. and uh, found out that he was Erdlin, the uh, gnome uh, trickster god, and uh, he seemed to be very upset. And uh, Nanny Cowslip tried to banish him, but before she could do so, he uh, put a curse reset. over the area and reset the day back, back to the morning of the pudding fair. And so you guys woke up. And realized the uh, situation that you were in that the day was uh, repeating and already started to uh, make use of that by preventing some of the uh, unfortunate incidents that 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 you observed the morning before when you uh, stepped out of your in <clears throat> namely uh, keeping yeah keeping the goose from knocking over the tray of food uh, preventing the dog from chasing the rat and knocking the town crier into the mud uh, preventing the guy from having the bird poop fall on his head, and uh, some of you avoided buying the rotten apples, but uh, Cassia did not. And so, with that, uh, you, as as you mentioned before, you do hear the, you you hear the music of uh, "I Got You, Babe," uh, playing <laughs> as you uh, as you watch everyone uh, gather for the pudding fair yet again outside of your inn what uh what what would you guys like to do now well i feel like we've already been pretty successful i mean we could just you know take a nap now we've prevented <laughs> so much stuff already well should we uh talk to nanny again and Tell her kind of what we know and what to expect. That's a Gonk, good idea. Gonk seems to be down for the for the puppet show uh, again. Mm. I do want to see his puppet show. Oh right, and Abby, after uh, freaking out that uh, all of his stuff was uh, stolen, I think I recall him. Uh, yelling about that, uh, ran out of the inn in a panic and just ran off into the woods somewhere. You uh, don't know uh, where he, where he went. Uh, hopefully, he'll show up again uh, if and when the uh, day re re resets again. Well, let's do this. Let's. Uh... Cassia looks at the party and is like, "How much did I drink yesterday?" God, I can't remember anything. It was a lot. I'm not gonna lie. But so, so for you, this is a brand new day. <laughs> yes, and it's a good day to start drinking, says Cassia. Well, <laughs> maybe Cassia should get a drink. We should go watch the puppet show, and then we should go talk to Nana Cowslip. Let her know what's going on. And visit those giant giant cats again. There you go. And the puppet was right next to the potter. I think uh, I think I'd like to help the potter again. Um, I know Nanny seemed to like that, so maybe if we do a couple of good things, she might be more willing to talk to us. That's a good idea. Puppet. Mm. Puppet show? He's over there yelling about the puppet show. Yeah, let's uh, let's head down and and is 
as uh, some of you watch a puppet show, I'll I'll go up to the uh, to the the Potter's Kiln. I would also like to steal the pig from the pig wrestling pen so that it doesn't get eaten by the eagle. Did you want to do that uh, first? Oh, uh, no. We can we can do the other stuff first. Have oh. to figure out a way to be sneaky about it. <laughs> I can help you, says Cassia. Might as well do it in the morning while I'm sober. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, as long as we're not too late for that, we're we're good. I don't know where we're gonna hide the pig. I have lots of pockets in my cargo pants. Just kidding. I don't know. We'll figure it. Gonk know where to hide pig. No eating the pig gonk. <laughs> oh, gonk was going hide him in his tummy. He's smart. <laughs> <laughs> you have to save room for the eels, gonk. Remember yeah. the eels. Yeah, you got to eat a lot of eels. But first, the puppet show. Puppet. Now we're going to head over to the, the kiln that's right next to the puppet show. I want to get a really good seat for the puppet show. I'll go in and, like, if I have to shove kids out of the way, I'll do it. Because I tried to be nice yesterday. And I didn't even get any jelly beans, so. Okay. So you head to the uh, you you try to retrace your uh, footsteps to uh, and uh, repeat the uh, same events of the uh, day before, <clears throat> going to the uh, puppet show and and uh, Potter's Kiln. Don't forget the cider stand. Yeah, and Cassia <laughs> goes to the cider stand to uh, re re retrace her steps, all of her drinks. And uh, when you arrive at the uh, puppet show, <clears throat> you uh, again see the familiar sight that uh, there are many children gathered to view uh, the gnome Emery Plumwicket's performance of Legend of Mystery Hollow. Uh, yet the show seems to be late in uh, getting started and the, and the kids are starting to uh, get restless. I start chanting, puppet, puppet, puppet. Uh, and, a, and, a, and, a, and again, um, the uh, familiar... Uh, problem of, of he's just he's just he's just not coming and he and he and he finally comes out with his with his hand all bandaged and starts to uh ex, ex, explain that he's uh, unable to uh per, perform again Given anybody he follow has a, gonk there is gonk by himself injured his hand no i'm there i am definitely there so yeah this time breen is there uh i go you go do puppet show I don't know how to do a puppet show, and I don't know. I heard you were pretty good last time. Gonk takes off his socks. He's like, just put your hands in these. Okay. I will put my hands in his dirty, stinky socks, I guess. Then I'll draw faces on them. I'm not sure how this is going to help, though. You do puppet okay. show so Gaunt can watch. Uh, 
Okay. My puppet show is probably going to be really boring, though. All right, so you take uh, Gonk's socks, which the cleanliness of them are in question. Yeah. And uh, you you go up to uh, Emery uh, Plumwicket to uh, offer your uh, assistance with performing a, a puppet show. And he, uh, oh, yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, please, oh, whatever you, you can to calm these children down will be much appreciated. Uh, oh. Well. I'm not, I'm not very good with kids, but I guess I'll see what I can do. So, so like, what kind of puppet, what, what do you usually do? Do you, like, tell them stories, or, like... Oh, oh, well, the intention was to tell the legend of Mystery Hollow uh, today. Aren't you familiar with it? Uh, am I familiar with it? I don't know, are you? Oh no. Uh oh, Gonk's getting restless. Um What if I'm not particularly Well, with don't it? don't worry. It's a tradition that each that that each uh, individual uh, storyteller changes the story a, a bit anyway. So just so so just do your best. Do you have like a script or something? What's this hollow? Come on, all, all halflings and gnomes know some some version of, of the of the legend of Mr. Hall. I'm I'm sure you'll be fine. And he starts pushing you into the uh, into the booth. Uh, but I I don't actually know the story. Uh. uh hello, children. I put my hands up and I make the puppet start talking to each other. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a story. Make what a, a per story ma make a make a performance check on your on your on your first impression here. Yikes! Okay. All the kids start going, boo! Oh, be quiet, kids. Ugh! Everyone's a critic. Gonk, gonk, get up here. Uh, that's my friend Gonk, and he, he tells really good stories. Um, help me tell this story. Puppet show. Oh, no. Uh, well, okay, so. Uh, tell him about Lickabob Stain. Uh, okay, I think I kind of know that. So, um,. There, there was this guy, um, called Lickabod Stain. <laughs> um, and he, he like liked this girl, I think. Um, it's a really good story, like really good story. Uh. Yeah, yeah, so, okay, so, he was a schoolmaster, he, he taught kids school, and he was really good at it or something, um, and he lived in this town that was really scary, and there were, like, witches, or, like, I don't know, bad, bad guys and ghosts and things, and so, he, he liked this girl, and... The puppets aren't even moving! Oh, shut up! I, um, uh, start moving my hands. I don't know. But anyway, let me tell a story. Do you want to hear it or not? I don't understand who's talking! Okay, so this one on the right, this is Lickabod Stain. Um, he's a really skinny guy. And this one is some girl named... Katrina something. So anyway, she's the daughter of some rich guy. What's her last name? Um, does it matter? Why do you care? Everyone has last names. Well, what do you think her last name is? 
I stare at him. I'm like, Gonk don't have last name. See? Gonk doesn't have a last name. Gonk, anyway. Gonk only has Gonk. Can I get back to the story or what? Make a performance check. So anyway. Check. Okay. Oh, see, look. It's a very compelling story. The yeah, the the kids you've you've started to tell a story, and the kids have started to okay. uh, calm down and l uh, listen, save for a heckler or two. Okay, so anyway, so Ichabod or Lickabod or whatever his name is, he wants to marry this girl, but her dad doesn't like him because big surprise, because he's I don't know, he's probably an uggo or something. Now I'm confused. What's his name? Uh, Lickabod kind of a stupid name but whatever um anyway so so yeah so this other guy the guy that he's competing with against to to get this girl to like him he's big and strong and like not an uggo so um they like they want to fight each other but Ichabod doesn't Lickabod sorry he doesn't he doesn't do that he doesn't fight so anyway, so they play some, some pranks on each other. And, uh, Lickabod goes to a party for some reason. I don't know. He goes to this party, and he dances, and he, he eats some stuff, and he has some drinks, and he listens to some ghost stories. But he really likes the girl, and he wants to propose to her. But she does not like him back. So he gets mad and gets on his horse and he's really sad and he rides away. But then he passes some haunted places and he thinks that he saw someone following him. And he's a really scary guy who rides a horse and he probably doesn't have a head he may have a head. I, I don't really know. I'm unclear on that. Um, his head his head's a pumpkin, but he doesn't have an actual head. So anyway, so he rides really fast, but he disappears. And uh, the guy, the, the pumpkin guy throws his head at him, and he dies. End of the story. So stay away from ghosts. That's that's the point. All the kids uh, sit there uh, quietly as as you finish and <laughs> look look to each other to uh, figure out whether that was any good or not. Yeah, Gonk starts uh, clapping. So uh, roll <laughs> roll your performance check with advantage. Oh wow! Well, it was a terrible story, but. And the kids start slowly clapping. I give them uh, the evil eye, you know. <laughs> they start clapping faster. So, so the point is, kids, like, first of all, don't be an uggo. Um, don't, don't like anyone because they probably won't like you back. Um... Don't go anywhere at night alone because ghosts might kill you. And don't trust anyone who has a pumpkin for a head. Got it? So again, they clap. And uh, as you as you finish, you, uh, gain, you, you gain an inspiration point. Whoa. And, I think uh, that, that was successful. You, you gain an inspiration point and Emery uh, Plumwicket comes up to you and says, Oh, Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, you're a you're a lifesaver. You, uh, you think you can come back every hour and and perform that again? Uh, every hour. Um. Okay, I guess so. Oh, thank you. Uh, please, please, if there's anything you need, just ask. You're you're a lifesaver. Do 
You're welcome. What is uh, Melrick doing as he goes to the Potter's Kiln? I, or goes back up to the Potter and and uh, asks him to see some of uh, the uh, plates that he likes to make for for the fairs. Yeah, so you you go over there and he. Um... And he uh, is offering his plates, and he's uh, the the kiln is uh, firing, and he is uh, the line is quite long as it was before, but he's filling orders and and uh, hard at hard at work. So the kiln isn't uh, broken or off off kilter at all. It uh, is not. Does it look like uh, it had been repaired? No, it, it seems as though it was never broken. Hmm. Melrick asks, uh, "How much are these uh, these fine fine plates that you've made?" Uh, those uh, those I generally sell for uh, one uh, one gold piece. Uh, I'll 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 buy a plate. Oh, thank you, sir. How has uh, business been? Oh, business is great as always. These uh, plates are commemorative and are unique every year and always quite quite popular. And do the plates uh, actually look nice? They they do. Well, say the excellent craftsmanship. Thank you. And uh, he'll actually walk back to the uh, to the puppet show. And uh, by that time, Brina is uh, finishing up her uh, her puppet show as Gonk is uh, intimidating all the all the children to uh, <laughs> clap uh, enthusiastically. It's amazing. Uh, Elric goes up to Brina and uh, Gonk says. This is unusual. The uh, kiln that was broken yesterday is now fixed. Welcome by fisting. That's weird, or it was never broken. Maybe we stopped whatever broke it. Hmm. Did you hear my story? I just told a really good story. Apparently, I have a knack for telling stories, and I had no idea. I heard a lot of applause. I, I'm, I'm sorry I missed that, but <laughs> I did buy this plate, and it's excellent wow. craftsmanship. It is a nice plate. Well, and it's not broken either, so today's going so well. Hmm. Go on, Congre. Let's go eat eels. Okay, that sounds fun. I'm just going to watch you eat eels, though. You are so good at it. So, God goes to the eel eating so, content. Well, the nanny's uh, candies are are right, right on the way. Should we stop and yeah. talk to her first? We could do that. Gon, can you wait a couple more minutes to eat some meals? Gone like candy. Okay, see, I knew that would work. Yeah, let's do that. Cassia sees the party and starts walking their way. With a drink with cider and maybe oh, both hands. hands. Yep. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so you, you, you walk over to Nanny Cowslip's uh, candies and see the familiar sight of her uh, gaily painted uh, halfling chariot uh, that has uh, three enlarged kittens named Snap, Crackle, and Pop. 
uh, hanging out there, giving themselves baths. Kitties. And uh, you again see the familiar jar of glowing jelly beans labeled magic candy, which uh, sits on her counter uh, alongside her uh, assortment of uh, sherbet lemons, honeycomb toffees, and peppermint bonbons. Oh, so hello. Uh, how are you all today? Uh, have you come to try some of my fine candies? Why, well, yes. Uh, and, and Brina, would, would you like to uh, tell Nanny about how you helped the, the puppet show? I'm assuming that's, that's a, a, a good thing to, good deed to, that you have done. Oh, one of you has uh, performed a, a good deed uh, t today? Well, I mean, I just told a really great story, and I helped out this this gnome guy who couldn't couldn't do puppet shows. So that was pretty cool. Oh well, uh, I think that deserves a a candy. Here you are. Thanks. I mean, also, we, everybody did some pretty great stuff. Um, we stopped some some plates from getting knocked over and we stopped a rat from getting caught and didn't you stop a guy from getting pooped on? Uh, uh, Melrick? Yeah. Uh, yes, it, I covered it with my with my shield. Um, and plus uh, we, we stopped the dog from uh, running into uh, the, the town crier. That sounds like three good deeds to me. Here, here are three more for your group. Thanks. It's been a very successful morning. Uh, Nanny, can we can we ask you a, a question that may sound uh, unusual? Uh, we seem to have gone through this day for a second time. Uh, is that something that you've ever experienced or heard of before? I'm not sure that I know what you mean. You're experiencing this day again? That doesn't make any sense. Well, here's the interesting part. The, the good deeds that we did earlier about stopping the dog from running into, uh, into the town crier and uh, stopping the goose from running into the lady selling pastries. Um, we knew to prevent those because yesterday they did happen. And since you have magic beans here, we, we thought maybe you might be able to help us understand what, what's happening. I don't believe that I can. Yesterday was yesterday, and today is today. I, I, that that is my memory of things. Well, you don't remember what happened yesterday. Of course, I remember what happened yesterday. But yesterday was not today. How do we prevent it from happening again? Prevent what from happening again? Uh, preventing some of the you actually were involved with yesterday, at least in our memories. Uh, and Erglin had uh, cast a curse on this town. At least that's what we remember from yesterday. As you uh, say that name, she sort of has a react. You notice a, a visible reaction on her face. Uh, s sorry, did, did I not uh, hear you correctly? What? Who? Who is that again? Or you... I believe his name was Erglin. Um, he was a a gnome dealing with with trickery. 
you're saying you saw a gnome named Erdlin here at the fair. Yep. Yesterday. Yep. You tried to stop it. You warned us about him. I don't recall that, but you say you saw him. Yes, with you. How do I know this isn't a trick? Unfortunately, you don't. That's why we're just looking for help. I have no memory of this. Is there anything we could do to prove to you that we've seen this before? Well, if you claim to have foreknowledge of what is to come, I suppose you could demonstrate this to me, that might seem like sufficient proof. Uh, how, how are we gonna... The only way I could think of is you know, by around six or seven, that's when this happened. It started in, in the main tent the main uh, pudding tent and uh, maybe we can prepare for that. That's a good thing. We know what's happening. E except the kiln. Yesterday the kiln was broken and today it's not. Now we, Abby and I fixed it yesterday. Well, then there you go. That makes sense then, doesn't it? No, because yesterday was reset today. So almost everything was the same, except the pottery was, was broken yesterday. And now today it's fine. But the puppet show... And all the other things that we experienced earlier this morning did still happen. But they went so much better yesterday. So maybe he won't show up today. It'll be interesting if we do have to go through this day. If tomorrow, maybe the puppet show will be normal and we won't have to be involved with that. I do say all of this is giving me a headache, uh, but if you do say that Erdlin is here, I, I, I must investigate this. Uh, uh, please, uh, watch my booth, and, and she, she still, oh, where's that sign? I'll watch your booth. I think we, we, yep. Do we get free candy? <laughs> uh, only one per hour. That's your that's your compensation for watching the booth. And and she puts up her sign and says like you know, on a on a on a break. And uh, she she takes she grabs her jar of uh, magic beans and uh, scratches uh, snap crackle and pop on the head. And uh, oh, okay, I'm gonna look into this. And and she wanders off. Hmm, well, that was kind of weird. It was Cassia. Yeah, that was And looks at Melrick. What are you talking about? Uh, Melrick hands Cassia a magic bean. Uh, maybe this will make you feel better. And he hands Gonk one, too. Gonk like magic beans. What does it taste like? Is it booger flavored? Mine tastes like lettuce. <laughs> so Cassia ate one. 
Tell me, sure. tell me, it, tell me if you're actually eating it. Uh, I'll, I'll, eat eat it. Eat, I'll eat mine too. Of course, Gonk's gonna eat his. <laughs> All right, well, Gonk eats his so that uh, he gains the uh, lucky trait Ooh. for the day. And uh, it, it and instead of just triggering on a one, it triggers on a two also. Wow. Uh, Brina, you gain advantage on all saving throws for the day. Heck yeah. And Cassia, you gain uh, ten temporary hit points for the day. Wow. And Melwar, we had four, Ooh, right? More drinking. Yeah, you did earn four. four, yeah. Yep, and Melrick will eat his, too. Okay, and, um... You Too feel much. incredibly good for the day, and it looks like you already have an inspiration point, so... Therefore, you can gain another. Sorry, advantage on what kind of save? Saving throws. All. All saving throws? Whoa, okay. Yes. I was really eating like a Krabby Patty uh, gummy <laughs> candy, <laughs> and it was the lettuce <laughs> part of it. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, mine tasted like lettuce. <laughs> I would like to pet the kitties. Well, Hey, Melrick, can you hold my rat for a minute? I don't want the cats to eat him, and I don't want Gonk to eat him, so. Uh, sure. He, he's Wait. nice, I promise. He won't bite you. I, I don't think. Or you can let him go. That's fine, too. You know, maybe, maybe yeah. we should. It, it's up to you. Yeah, Melrick will we'll just kind of hold him and try <laughs> to pet the rat as as best he can. I, I tell the rat I, like, no. And I want to go over to the cat. Okay, as you uh, come over to them, they put their head down so that you can uh, scratch them and uh, start, start, start purring. Yes. I think I'm feeling kind of chaotic good today. Maybe even chaotic neutral. I'm not being very... I don't know. But I do pet the cats, yes. Cassie will go over there and take a look at the cats. She ain't gonna pet them because she's got her hands full, but... So, are they just they're actually cats but just big kittens but big yes Kitten. well we're tries to take a look around and see because <clears throat> he was still suspicious of the the uh psychic that was um that we encountered yesterday and he's just looking around to see if anyone's kind of watching what they're doing Um, go ahead and uh, roll a perception check. You uh, look around and you notice uh, who appears to be uh, Elsie uh, Rumknuckle um, off in the off in the in the in the distance, and and she she is uh, looking at you, your group, as if uh, she does uh, recognize you. And when you guys both spot each other, uh, she then starts to turn to to walk away. Where is she going? Hi. Away. How far away is she? So you were, um, so you were like, uh, you know, here at, 
at the at the booth and she was maybe like down the down the way here over here now work will just call out Elsie come here we w we'd like to speak with you and she starts uh oops whether she uh, heard you or not unknown but she 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 starts pushing her way through the crowd as quickly as she can while walking and I don't think she heard moving uh, moving away from you Who are you talking to Malric says Cassia Uh someone we met yesterday I, I think Gonk might know who Elsie is Gonk wants to eat eels. <laughs> so, are we okay to leave, or do we need to stay here? It's up to you. Uh, if 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 you all want to run up to uh, eat eels, I'll I can I can stay here and and watch just to make sure because you know, she Nanny asked us to watch us. So I'll stay back, but. But Gonk may need to to win that that eel eating contest. Okay, that sounds good. Are you sure you don't mind? Oh, that's fine. He looks at Melwork looks at Gonk, but just make sure you you get all three eels again. Gonk hungry. <laughs> Okay, so those of you that want to make your way to the uh, eel eating contest may do so. And Melwork will will stay back. I do want to see him win. So uh, ah. you you go to the eel eating contest, which which again entry uh, costs uh, five uh, gold pieces. Okay. And um, like uh, like before, um, Gonk is uh, you know he 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 did it once. He can do it again. So he uh, he keeps down all all uh, three eels and uh, ends up winning the uh, prize and uh, earning himself 20, 20 gold pieces. Yay. Ooh, Gonk's the winner. Is that 20 on top of my, the five I put in there? So 25 or just 20? Uh, well, so you, so you had to spend five to get in. So you in that. 115. Yeah, okay. But you got to eat some good eels. Gunk, gunk full now. <laughs> wow, that was impressive. Uh, gonk, as as you uh, as you uh, feel the eels writhing around. Uh, uh -huh. In your uh, stomach, they uh, something's different uh, today than the day before. That you almost feel like they're like chewing on your uh, on your insides, as uh, as as like like they have teeth. Although although these variety of eels are, are not supposed to have teeth. Oh, don't tummy, don't 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 got a tummy ache. Oh no. Um... Drown him in some cider, says Cassia. Yeah, that might be a good idea. <laughs> uh, and uh, and as you're as you're feeling this, you you guys uh, notice this young halfling who enters at, right after Gonk. He's like, I I can do it, and he and he starts and he starts uh, he he starts to try to swallow one, and then it and then you see him start to uh, choke. He's like, oh, 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 
I do the Heimlich maneuver on him. So you uh, rush over to him and uh, try to do that, make a uh, medicine check. I don't want him to choke to death. Nope. <laughs> or do you? I mean, I... As you uh, you're go, short, and, you can't reach. As you go and and try to get it out, you still, and it's not, uh, uh, and it's not coming me. out. Maybe someone else who's bigger and stronger should help. Gonk, can you get this eel out? Or somebody? Gonk, Gonk. Just jumping up and down on his stomach, throws you to the ground, <laughs> jumping up and down on him. Gonk uh, tries uh, it and still he's uh, 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 I don't as know the, how you do it. As he as he hasn't swallowed the eel all the way yet, the tail is still sticking out. We're wiggling around. No. Cassia tips back the last of her mug and then grabs the eel and tries to pull it out. Nice. Make a uh, athletics check as you try to pull it out. I think you're a lot brighter than we are. <laughs> it's a slippery little bugger. Yeah, but as you do so, you're able to uh, yank on it, and uh, and and you and you feel like it's like not just stuck in there because you you think it would just come out, but it, it's like attached itself somewhere, and you and you pull and pull, and finally it it pulls out, and in its in its mouth, oh, no. it it pulls out a little bit of flesh that it was that it was Ugh. holding on to, and and the 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 halfling starts. <clears throat> His his uh his 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 voice seems to be uh sort of damaged as he's as he's having trouble speaking. Uh, something wrong. Oh, Grabbed on, and and you can see that it has these little teeth and it's like you know, like gnawing you know chewing. Oh. oh. Looks at Gonk with the eel. Here's your seconds if you want it, Gonk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A B C E R E B G. The uh, person running the uh, contest. Uh, l let me see that. Comes over, looks at it, and grabs it, and starts l uh, looking in its mouth, and says, "This is very odd." Very odd indeed. And he starts grabbing the other eels. They, they they've all seemed to have grown teeth. Uh, we're we're going to have to shut down the the contest for today. Uh, Gonk, you, I, can, can you like throw those up? You make yourself far. I guess I can. I, I guess I try it. I mean, they might eat you from the inside out. No. They might be snapping and biting on their way out. Says Cassie. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I think at this point, Gonk's very robust uh, stomach acid. He's, he stops feeling them moving around at, at this point. Look, okay, he don't have tummy ache no more. Strange though. Why? Why do they have teeth all of a sudden? They were all bitten by vampires. Yikes! This is. Maybe can I take a look at one of them? Yeah, you can grab one out of the vat and and examine it. I hold it behind its head so it can't bite me. I mean, you you examine it and find that it that it does have teeth, which is which is very unusual because uh, the the Veldune variety of eel that these are supposed to be don't 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 have teeth they seem as though they're almost another type of breed or were they repl 
placed or David? Do they look similar enough to the kind that they usually use or Yes, and the and the person running the stall says, No, I I swear that they, they were Veldun yesterday. Well they're not today. So what are they? I don't know. Someone's someone's playing a trick on me. Pretty bad trick. Well, if they were Veldun yesterday, they weren't Veldun today. And they're going to be gonk poop tomorrow. That's true. That seems pretty weird. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, it does seem weird. I feel like I would know. I so, like, what would I know about these eels normally? Like, why... Where do they come from? Um, is this, like, a mutation that can happen in eels? What do I... Roll a history check. So you know that uh, one of the delicacies of three pony wood are these Veldun eels. Um, they're generally small and, uh, at least to the people around here, taste uh, delicious, even raw, and are generally considered a, a treat by gnomes. Um, but on top of that, they're also considered uh, good, good luck when eaten alive. And uh, they're they're regarded as, as having rather uh, religious significance as they represent Erdlin's banishment into the underworld in his guise as the lurker uh, below. Hmm. Maybe it's an omen about Erdlin. Maybe Nanny knows about this too. You should tell her. I can't really hear uh, Bringa very well. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Try to make sure it's near. It's yeah. you're speaking into it. I don't know. It is. Let me. I'll. I'll see what I. Oh, that was better. Yeah, because it it just kind of randomly comes in and out. Huh. If she she knows anything about the eels. That sounds like a good idea. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's just it's just having issues. We we might need to get you a new microphone because it's yeah. it's been it's been doing this lately. Mm -hmm. 
So what do you guys want to do? Anything unusual at where uh, Mulwark is by the... Oh, over at... Uh, Manny's Candies? Um, no, just just not that... Uh, just that... Uh, she hasn't uh, she hasn't uh, uh, returned yet. Should we head back? We can stop at the cider stand. I need a refill, says Cassia. Uh, Fantasy Grounds, everything just disappeared from the chat. Yeah, I just cleared it. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, so let's go find Melrick. Get a drink, find Melrick. Okay, so you, uh, on your way back to uh, the candy uh, stand, you uh, stop by the uh, cider stand. And uh, as you, as you do, uh, the, the, there seems to be chaos uh, happening uh, at the, uh, at the stand. You see that people are screaming and running away uh, from the from the cider stand, as uh, you see all of these uh, bloated white moles running around and climbing out of people's cups. Oh no! <laughs> out of people's cups. That's terrible. You did. Uh, Cassia looks inside of her cup. Or both were or actually she put one down. So she's only got one cup in hand. So yeah, as you as you look in, you see a a white mole uh, jumps out and leaps out and jumps to the ground and starts running away. What the hell? All these moles are getting drunk off my coin, and she starts chasing it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, given all the time that you spent here yesterday, this this did not happen yesterday. No, this is pretty weird. Uh, At least they don't have teeth. That you know of. So, how, how many of them are there? Uh, more than you can count. They're everywhere. It's an infestation. What should we do? I mean... Are they yeah, so yeah, put down her cup. That's that's a good thought. Are they biting anyone? Uh no, they're just they're just mostly uh grossing people out and causing them to uh freak out. Actually Cassie will turn her cup upside down before putting it down and look to see if there's any mole turds in the pot. No, oh, ew. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, where... So where did this ale come from? Uh, it was a cider. Uh, you see the, the person uh, running the things like, Oh, no, please! Uh, calm down, I don't... I don't understand what's happening, uh... uh Where did you get your cider? I, I, I made it myself, fresh from uh, apples right here and three penny wood in an orchard right here. I, I don't understand. What, how is this happening? They're climbing right out of the cups. Where did you get the cups? <laughs> I, it's, is there a barrel or anything? We should maybe look in the barrel. Okay. Cassia kind of does not want to look inside the barrel. <laughs> I'm just, I mean. 
Okay, you want to go pop open a barrel? Yeah. Okay, so you go and uh, pop one open, and as you as you do that, moles just start pouring out of it as it was completely filled from top to bottom with moles, and there and there's no cider in there. He says, "What? I don't understand. That was filled with cider." I think they drank it. I've been cursed. I want to know how the moles came out the tap. Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Uh, well, this is gross. Uh, what? Uh, where, where were you pouring the barrels? And did you not? I mean, I don't, I don't know how this could have happened. Um, maybe we should go look where you were storing them. I don't know. What does everyone else think? Oh, this is this is dark magic. I'm ruined. No one will buy my cider ever again. Well, I'll forget about it by tomorrow. So yeah, by this point, every everyone pretty much clears out of the uh, cider stand as right. the uh, as Cassie. the white as the bloated white moles kind of just take over the whole place. Cassia, since he's mentioning a curse, Cassia wants to look around the cider stand for any kind of obscure writing or anything. Something that, since I'm used to thieves can't, maybe a scrawling on walls or chairs or on the the barrel of cider itself or something. Okay. I speak druidic, but that probably won't help. Go ahead and... Uh... <clears throat> Go ahead and uh, make a uh, make an investigation check. So you uh, do investigate all of the uh, barrels, and you and you and, and you find and you do find some uh, strange markings. Um, it's not uh, thieves can't as as you uh, don't don't understand it, but yeah, there are there are some strange markings on them. Pretty good with arcana. Do I see that they're arcana in nature? Um, you touch them and uh, examine them, and they and they do seem to have some some sort of magical uh, property in them, but but they but they must be in some sort of language that you don't understand. Cassie, All right, you find I pointed it out to the party. Hey, come take a look at these weird markings, these scrawlings. They seem like they can have some kind of magic on them. And then I'm going to look at the bartender. Do you know of anything about these markings? Uh, no, th those are not mine. That, that was put there by someone else. Do you recognize it? Well, it seems to be written in Gnomish. It says, uh, I curse you all until I get my pudding. Hmm. A little weird, but, but Gnomish can be spiteful, so that's out. Who do you think would have done that? I, I don't know. I, I don't have any enemies. I, I, I don't know who would do this to me. This is almost as if this were cursed by Erdlin himself. Hmm. Almost like. Well, what do you guys think about we could get a handwriting sample from everyone here and compare it to the writing on barrel? Might be a little labor intensive. Or if you have well, better ideas. We can just stake out the barrels. 
And if you say what, I don't believe it's true, but if the day keeps on starting over, maybe we'll catch him in the act. That's a good idea, too. Probably a better one. Hmm. Do we need to stay here all day today, or come back tomorrow? What do you think? Well, I say somebody can take watch here tonight. I guess I can do that, says Cassia. What time of day is it right now? Um, given all the things you've done at this point, um, it's about noon at this point. Okay. I do really want to go... See if I can save that pig from being eaten by the eagle, if possible. I'd like to see that <laughs> little guy get caught by Gaunt, too. Mm. Yeah, that would be fun. Was he Maybe a we goblin? Do that. Cobalt? <laughs> I think a, a goblin. I haven't seen him today, though. I think Gonk may have ate him. <laughs> uh, out. So if you if you recall the uh, that that event with the pig it happened earlier, so you've already missed it. <gasps> Dang it! I didn't know how often it happened. Well, well just when when you were there the the day before, it was earlier in the day. Yeah. When that happened. Can I go by there and see if the pig is there? Uh, sure, you can stop by and, uh, whatever that is. Uh, oh, over keep there. Keep your eye to the sky. Fifteen. And if you hear a yeah. pig squealing and flying, <laughs> then we know it's already passed. Yeah, and, <laughs> and where you, yeah, and, and you go over and it does appear that the uh, oiled uh, pig uh, contest has been uh, closed down due to uh, lack of pig. Oh, no. Well... Try again tomorrow. Do I need to go back and do my puppet show again? Uh, it's up to you. I mean, I said I'd come back, so. I mean, I'll go you, back. you also said you'd come back every hour, and it's been like four or five hours. Whoops, I forgot. I'll go back and do a really fast puppet show and say I'll apologize that I forgot. I got, I got distracted by uh, eels with teeth and terrible things. She'll, she'll have to understand, right? Like, hill, he, he. Oh, he. Sorry. Uh, yeah, maybe. Really bad stuff is happening. I guess I'll go get Melrick and see what he's up to. Says Cassie. Yeah, my work is still <laughs> waiting by the candy store, eyeing the candies, but trying to uh, try not to to grab any. Well, she I'll said you could. What just happened? She she said you could have one every hour as payment for watching the stand. Ah, uh, this is more about watching weight than okay <laughs> than stealing. <laughs> Show. So as you uh, go to the uh, puppet stand, you find that um, the puppet stand has been uh, knocked over and uh, uh, destroyed. All the all the puppets are scattered along the ground in the in the in the mud, and you see uh, Emery Plum look at there, uh, sitting there on the ground crying. <laughs> the children. When you didn't come back, and the, <laughs> when the uh, <laughs> they they rioted and they they knocked the booth over and and smashed it with hammers and wrecked all the puppets and threw them in the mud. Where were you? 
Where did the children get hammers? What kind of children are these? I will help him pick up his puppets. <laughs> They're the kind of children that when you advertise a puppet show every hour and then it doesn't happen, they riot. <laughs> They're terrible. <laughs> It's almost like someone gave them, told them a really scary story. <laughs> Something I, that had to do with nails. I told them to behave and not to go out at night, or maybe next time I need to tell them not to knock things down with a hand. I Who mean, saw that coming? I mean, like, how did even all of the children happen to have hammers? It just doesn't make any sense. I agree. It's a really weird situation. Um, what can I do to help? I don't know. Uh, I'll do what I can to help you. It's all ruined. You said you would come back. Why didn't you? Because some terrible stuff happened. Uh, the eels grew teeth, and the, uh, there, there's just been some really weird, awful stuff. Um, there's moles coming out of everything. And all the children had hammers? <laughs> yeah, and all the children had hammers. I... I don't know what's going on. I'll, I'll pick up his puppets and, you know, try to dust them off. These are, these are family heirlooms. And they've all covered in mud. They're ruined. They can't be washed. They ruined them. Does anyone have prestidigitation? I'm sure. Does anyone have prestidigitation around here? I'm shouting at people. Presti <laughs> prestidig what? I, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, it's a thing that that cleans stuff that's dirty. Um, can I cast minor illusion on the puppets to make them appear to be clean? You want to deceive him? I mean, I don't know. He's upset. He's crying. I'm trying to make him feel better. This, this is only going to last for one minute, you, you, you know. Well, I'm, I'm panicking. I don't know what to do. Okay, you, uh, you do it. Okay. <laughs> um, here, look, look, they look clean now. Um. As you wave your hand over them and they appear clean, as he, uh, as he touches them, you can see that he's getting mud all over his hands and stuff, but you've illusioned that away. <laughs> no. Oh, you fixed them. How? How did you do that? Uh, um, uh, I, I, uh, um, I, I have to go by. <laughs> this is not gonna go well. You may have to cough up that magic jelly bean. I know. Oh no. <laughs> uh, oh. Do I have any money? Can I? I uh, know because they're heirlooms. Um. Hey, money's not the answer to all the problems. Uh. I th well, I, I, I think you've I, I think you've done the right thing and just walked away. <laughs> there, there's not much you can do for him at this point. So, in this whole time, uh, Nanny hasn't come back to the the candy shop. She has not. <clears throat> I think she ditched us. Uh, hey, hey, guys, remember how I said that everything was going really well this morning? Um, everything's not going really well anymore. I don't know what happened, but it's bad. 
Things are bad. Hmm. Well, should we go to that the main tent or maybe out in the woods where where yesterday we saw this go down? We could go check that out. Maybe we could set a trap for him or something. Or at least look at the spot and see if we find anything. I wonder what's going on at the archery contest. We could check that out too, because remember the moles were there yesterday. Well, uh, maybe we should check out the archery. That's a good From idea. A distance, I, I don't feel like getting a shot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll idea. sneak be we'll sneak behind the targets and oh wait, no. Oof. That sounds mm, with our luck. And today. hope everyone has a good aim. Yeah. Yeah, let's go check that out. There can't Melric be moles there too, right? But Melrick has hands uh, Brina back her rat. Oh, thank you. I put him in my pocket. No, no biting. So, so it was a pretty good rat for. Good. Good. I'm glad he behaved. All right. Well, is anybody gonna stay with the candy? Uh, after a couple hours, uh, uh, I yeah. would say we could probably head out. All right, then Cassia grabs her like two or three pieces of candy on the way out. So we head up to the, uh, carefully head up to the archery area. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so you head out to the uh, archery contest and uh, it's, everything seems to be uh, running smoothly. People are entering the contest, paying uh, five, five, five gold and shooting at the, uh, shooting at the various targets uh, at the at the moment um, the uh, high score uh, appears to be uh, 10 <clears throat> and uh, people seem very uh, very uh, keen to uh, try to win the uh, cherry uh, short bow Are we going to enter this time? Are there moles? Yeah, are there moles? Uh, not currently. All the all the all the targets appear to be working properly. All right, Cassie will enter real quick. Give her a shot. Melwork will cast a guidance on uh, Cassia. And uh, good luck. And this guy taps her on her shoulder. What does that do? Can't remember. Uh, uh, well, it it just helps with checks, but you have to make attack rolls. So it would have to be blessed to to make a a change on the uh, on the on the oh. attack rolls. So you uh, fire one at the at the three point target and uh, score a score a hit for your first shot, scoring three points. And you fire again at the uh, three point target, scoring six points. Oh, dang. And uh. you fire at the three point target and it misses as uh, you miscalculated. You know because these are these are moving targets. You miscalculated its movement and uh, miss on the third try. You have two more shots. Okay. You fire at the three-point target a, a fourth time, and uh, still your point total is just six. No. And the last time you fire again at the uh, three-point target to 
you score a final score of nine points, one one off of the uh, uh, high high score of ten. Dang it! That's pretty good though. All right. Don't watch the we try. can go. God wants to try. Don't oh. watch try. All right, Gronk, you can uh, you you can uh, use your uh, crossbow. You uh, shoot and fire at the three point target, and your first shot misses. You have zero points. You fire again at the three point target and miss horribly, as it just sinks into the ground. You fire again, missing. Finally, on your fourth hit, Gonk, you uh, score a shot on the three-point target and score three points. And on the last one, you score again as you feel like you were getting the hang of it, and you, you end up scoring six points. Gonk winner. Hmm. Yeah, that was really good. Hmm. Well, this isn't very exciting. There's no screaming or bleeding this time. So as you were as you were going gonk, there's 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 again this uh, young uh, halfling girl who's uh, who currently is she she she's made four shots and she uh, currently has uh, ten ten points as she uh, scored uh, three three point shots and then she uh, went for the one point target to when she got to nine right off the bat and uh, is you know trying to play it safe as she then uh, aims for the uh, one point target to try to take the uh, lead from the uh, current uh, current leader and uh, as she uh, as she as she fires the uh, the the target malfunctions and uh, falls over and her shot f flies by and it would have hit had it not mal malfunctioned and uh she she starts uh, complaining that's unfair that is that is completely unfair i had it i shot at the one point that was a that was an easy hit i i bullseyed it but you you did that on purpose the maybe you should let her shoot again no and unfortunately the, the the rules are the rules she fired and missed i but i'm i'm sorry dear it was just a malfunction these 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 things happened i uh don't understand and then as 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 that's uh, happening more targets start to fall over as you see these as you see the white moles uh popping up I out of the ground it. and dislodging the uh, targets and knocking them over you see dear, i i I can't. It's these moles. I, they've been all over the fairgrounds. I've heard. I, I had nothing to do with it. Well. Do you have anybody in town that breeds moles? Says Cassia. No one would breed such horrid-looking moles as these. This is this is Erdland's doing. Of course. Have you seen Erdland? Oh, one rarely ever sees Erdland, but these the signs that he is around are are all are all over the place. I agree. Hmm. And the and the young halfling girl storms off stupid Erdland. How how can we attract Erdland. What? I, I mean, he obviously likes chaos. He likes, he likes to cause trouble. So maybe we do something to cause a lot of trouble, and he'll show up. I don't know. Hmm. What time is it right now? Uh, it's currently like uh, two o'clock. Oh, well, we don't have much time before, uh, assuming that the timeline stays the same. Got a few hours left, I think, I believe. Hmm. 
Well, didn't he say that he wanted his wanted some pudding? He Is that did what he say said? That. Yes. At least that's what he said yesterday. Should we go in the pudding tent and maybe we can see him because we saw him yesterday? Or maybe grab the pudding, bring it outside, and use it as bait for a trap. Could put some eels in it. That would show him. And we'll throw in some moles just for good measure. <laughs> exactly. I do think we should maybe set a trap with the pudding. I like your... Oh, should we head up to the tent then and see what we we can find out? Yeah, yeah. let's go. So we head on over. Um, do we know, like, are there a lot of gnomes that, like, that worship Erdlin? I mean, what is his, like, he's, he's evil, right? So, but, but are there gnomes who do follow him? Uh, I mean, if they are tempted down that path, they could. Hmm. Like, if we look around, do we see anyone who looks sketchy? Is there anyone who's acting weird in here? Or would we see, um, when recognized Erlen? When you when you go into the uh, great pudding tent, yeah, there is there is this uh, gnome who's currently part participating in the uh, game of Yon Yon Dalla's Luck, who uh, uh, appears to be leaping from uh, table to table uh, with 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 ease. You you see his name is uh, up on the board. Uh, as the uh, current uh, kin, kin, contestant, and it is written down as uh, Patcher Moldwarp. He uh, attracts your attention because uh, he is a rather um, um, boisterous in, in how good he is at uh, leaping from table to table. And uh, he he's uh in insulting everyone who's throwing things at him as as they're terrible and, and there's no way that that they can hit him as uh finally he leaps to the uh, last last table in the fastest time and says you see i told you i would win mark it up on the board ha mm. hmm. did, did they have a name at the archery table uh, who the top mm. score was? Good call. Uh, it, it was not uh, Patcher Moldwarp. Ah. The name of the uh, of of that that tied that ended up tying that girl uh, with ten was um, actually, I ironically, it was the uh, the the uh, archer contest uh runner's uh son because mm. his his name is sazavir gear click and and you remember that uh the uh current leader had the same last name okay hmm. how can we can we get him i'm suspicious maybe we can get him to reveal himself or get him to can we trick him what can we do mm. maybe we could talk about how much we can't wait to taste the pudding maybe he might respond to that because that's why he was asking for 
at least last night. Yeah. I like it. Melrick will, will clap for him and and say, great job. I uh, bet you can't wait to taste the, the pudding later tonight. Oh, I can't. When I claim that prize of being the first to dip into the pudding, you'll see. No one's going to beat that time. Hmm. I don't know. Wasn't that impressive. Of course, if that stupid mayor gets in my way. What's what wrong mean? with the mayor? I mean, um... I, yeah, I mean, he's, he's just, I don't know. He's always, he, he's always had a problem with me. He's just jealous because I'm cooler than him. Mm. Doesn't the mayor have like a frog-like appearance to him? <laughs> You're right. He kind of does. <laughs> Do you have to be a human to enter into this pudding contest? No. Or a humanoid. Uh, probably, yeah. Why? What were you thinking? <laughs> because I want it. Uh, this is this is really off the wall, but I was thinking I would enter myself into the contest, wild shape into a albino mole, and run try to run the obstacle course. And see if that gets a reaction out of them. Uh, I mean, you you can you can do what you want. I mean, if you enter as yourself, no one's going to stop you. Okay, I'm going to do it. Oh, you think you can beat me, eh? As you as you as you plop down your uh, five gold pieces. I don't know why I'll get coded, but I am level three, and I I've seen one, so I can do it now, right? And Melwork will tap her on her shoulder and cast guidance. Thanks. I mean, now so, that he knows what it does. So, so remember these 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 moles were big and bloated and white. They they weren't particularly healthy looking. I don't know that it's going to make you very good at this. Well, mm. well, you've also well, seen just... large okay, kittens. Sorry, but... I was gonna say you've also seen large kittens. Uh, they they could be a little clumsy, but that's true. Kittens are very fun. Um, sure, let's do that. I just was thinking that the the moles might get a reaction out of him if it's him. But well, sure. it's up to you. You can do that to get a reaction. I'm just saying you're you're not gonna be very good at the, at the contest as as one. Well, I'm not necessarily trying. I just want to see what he does okay that's a good idea yeah i was just i was i was just making that clear sure. just the stats for a, a mole. yeah well i mean you're you're going to be horrible at this as you find yourself <laughs> turn turn into it and you try to jump but you're so big and bloated you can you can barely get off the ground and you tumble off the uh the uh first table and don't even make it, and, and and he thinks this is hilarious, and he starts and he, and he starts laughing. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that's a good one. Hey, um, what do you guys think you know? Why did you choose that particular form? I'm a mole, so. I'll let that be. Well. We've seen these uh, moles come up all the time, and we we like some trickery. And and uh, our friend here was was going along with with that. You like some trickery, do you? Well, sure. Who doesn't? I'll tell you what, I'm sort of uh, putting together a, a gang. 
You want to be part of the gang? Well, that sounds like fun. All right, great. Meet me out in the woods tonight after six. Right, we, we will be there. And I'll show you something cool. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll be there. I'll, I'll transform back into myself. Okay. Is he still with us, or...? No, he, uh, I mean, he wanders off after he tells okay. you that. Did you hear that? Yeah, that's, uh, that's some good thinking on the, the mole. I, we lost some money on betting that you'd win, but, but, but this is good, too. <laughs> try to i don't know you're you're really cutting out try to figure out if you can speak more directly into the mic i don't know if i can yep see um, that's better okay uh, should we go check out that field? Yeah. Field? The field where down the last time. Is that what it was? It was, or the woods. Sorry. Oh, sure. But do we see, uh, Nandy anywhere in the, in this tent? You do not. Did Gonk ever come back? I don't know where did Gonk go. The Gonk's oh. here with you. Oh, Gonk's here, okay. Gonk has been real quiet. I wasn't sure. Yeah, we could go see if Nanny ever came back. I kind of think she ditched us, though. Hopefully we didn't get her into uh, into too much trouble. So. Should we take a look, see if she's by her, uh, her stand, and then maybe head out to the woods uh, right after that? Be, be a little early? Yeah, you could do that. So it's Cassia. Not like I'm going to be drinking any hard cider anytime soon. That's, uh, that's one way to kick the habit. So they head down to the, um, uh, any, uh, cowslips candies. Just to see if she's still there. Okay. Yeah. And as you head down, her her sign is still up, and uh, it appears that uh, given that no one was manning it, all the candies have been taken. Oh no! <laughs> but she is not there. I have a feeling the candies may be the least of our problems. <laughs> Yeah, we don't know what what will be jumping out of those candies. Ooh, that's a good point. Well, uh, I I agree with uh, Brina that we should probably head out to the woods and at least maybe uh, kind of prep for a little bit.
Sounds good. Should probably have a plan. Uh, I'm assuming at least take some of this pudding. Could we take some of the pudding? Uh, it hasn't been served yet. Oh. I can jack a handful. That don't sound right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> well, we, we could try to help the the mayor out too, but let's oh, see. We'd rather he not be turned into a toad. I wonder how big his gang... I assume it's going to be the archer and his son. Uh, but a lot of the other people, well, maybe even the, the potter, because his kiln was fixed. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Do we think, would anybody believe us enough to help us? Like if we gathered a group of people? Well, one thing we could do is run up to the psychic and ask her if she knows where Mandy is, or Nanny is. Okay. Sounds like a what, plan. What time is it at this point? Uh, it's getting later. It's like uh, four o'clock. Let's run up to the psychics. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> As you uh, go to the uh, psychic. You and approach the booth. It it seems to uh, be closed down as there's as there's no uh, ac activity or anything. There's 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 no line uh, waiting. There are just uh, a few gnomes and halflings uh, milling milling around. That's not a very good psychic. Else it would have known we were coming. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but all yeah. the people milling around, none of them look like the psychic that we saw yesterday. No. Hmm. Is she around anywhere? Do you look around. Not that you can see. As you're, as you're, kind of seem like you're lo uh, looking for one of the halflings. Says, uh, "Oh, you're looking for uh, Petunia, the the psychic. She's uh, she got upset and ran off." Hmm. Which way did she go? Uh, I don't know. She ran out into the woods somewhere. This uh, af this this uh, this this woman uh, came and uh, told her that uh, she recognizes her from Waterdeep and that uh, she knows who she is. And this seemed to uh, upset Petunia, and she ran off. Hmm. Weird stuff going on here. Hmm. Wasn't the Elsa from Waterdeep? Is that what she said yesterday? Elsie, I, I believe so, yeah. So, I wonder if Elsie and Petunia are the same person. Yeah. Hmm. No, 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 Elsie. Yeah, that was her name. That was the that was the, the the halfling that said she spotted Petunia. That said she knew her from from Waterdeep. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Well, thank you very much. Not a good psychic. I she would have seen Elsie. <laughs> Not very good at all. Well, yesterday she did guess uh, Gonk's name, so she's got to be pretty good. Gonk, do you know her? Gonk don't remember yesterday. <laughs> hmm. 
Are you feeling okay? Those eels biting you? Oh, it got just getting sleepy. Well, we should probably head out to the woods if so we're not late to the party, at least. Yeah, I agree. Yes, yeah. Okay. As you uh, head out uh, into the woods and uh, you start uh, walking a, -a, -a ways. Cassie is going to have her hand on her rapier and one on her dagger. You uh, hear this uh, screaming little girl uh, c coming from uh, off in the distance. Cassie will draw her weapon and her rapier and start approaching that direction. Yep. Elric will follow. So a gonk. Yeah. Me too. And uh, as you head in that direction, you 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 see this young uh, girl uh, running uh, towards you, screaming. She says, please help me. They're, they're chasing me. They're over there. Who's chasing you? What are you talking about? Those creatures, please, they're coming. Stop them. What? What creatures? What are you talking about? Look, they're, they're right there. They're coming for us. Can't you see them? Uh... Do I see them? You you Check you don't see look. anything. Okay. Uh, but I uh, do need you to roll for initiative. Oh, okay. Gonk really not want to get in this fight. Oh no. As a uh, Cassia, this thing uh, slashes its uh, claws at you, and it hits. Dealing. Uh, six slashing damage and an additional six necrotic damage. Ooh. And it is Melrick's turn. Um, seeing the attack, would he be able to cast Sacred Flame on the? Yep. He would. Creature? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. He'll do that. Uh, deck save of thirteen. Uh. Oh, have me. Okay. Yeah, I'll roll it. Uh, deck save. Uh, he, it does not hit him, it or it. As another one of these things, then slashes uh, at you, Melric. Uh, but it does not uh, get through your armor. And it is Cassia's turn. Alright, can I, from getting wounded, can I swing in the direction that I got hit? Mm-hmm. Just throw that out in chat, or you want me to actually aim at one of them? Yeah, go ahead and aim at them. If they're in the combat tracker, they have they just have the uh, invisible tag on them, so it'll all calculate appropriately. As nice. you're uh, still able to stab at it where you think it is and hit it. Alrighty, I'm gonna do some damage. And then I use my mobile feet, and I'm gonna move away from it about 15 feet. Kind of stick my back to it. Okay, 
Brina. Okay, Brina is going to uh, thorn whip in the direction that Cassia just stabbed. Okay. See if that works. Doesn't. But um, as a bonus action, she's going to cast a uh, bear spirit on everyone. Okay. And give everyone eight temporary hit points. Okay. Go ahead and target nice. everyone and, and do it. As well as advantage on strength checks and strength saves. Uh, okay. Well, it looks like Gonk already gave it, but yeah, it, it'll be fine because temp because they don't stack. So. Okay. Uh. And click the temporary hit points. There you go. Right. Nice. Yeah. Gonk. Cool. Gonk goes after Skulk one. Gonk, gonk, gonk. <laughs> and Gonk misses. As you uh, swing your battle axe at one of them, it uh, misses. Is this one then? Uh, chooses to swing at uh, Melric with its claws, hitting him, dealing uh, seven uh, slashing damage in addition to ten uh, necrotic damage. Ow. Oof. As it is his turn. Let me try. Toll the dead. Okay. So con um, save. Uh, that's a wisdom save. Wisdom save. It uh, fails. Oh, fails. So that's. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I and one d twelve new crack if he's already damaged. Yep. Go ahead and roll the damage. As you uh, hit it for uh, for necrotic damage, so yeah, you can you you, you can do the roll off that uh, thing, but yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can you can do the roll off the toll of the dead, uh, but I already added in that that for as the next skulk. Um, then chooses to uh, slash at Brina and Brina. hits her, dealing uh, eight slashing damage in oh. addition to six ne necrotic damage. As it, it is Cassia's turn. <clears throat> Seeing that Brina just got hit, Cassia from. Oh, is gonna move up into Bishop. This... At least 20 foot of her and grab one of her daggers and throw it in that direction that Brina just got hit. Okay. And your dagger sails through the air, missing uh, whatever is there. Alright. Uh, I will have my rapier out and ready. Have my back or put my back against another tree and call. Okay. As the little girl starts screaming, What's wrong with you? They're right there. Why can't you hit them? Can't see them, kid. Um, Brina says, Enough of this. Um, she, this is a little bit overkill, but you know what? She's mad. Um, she's going to cast Thunder Wave out in front of her and see what she can hit. Okay, target both of them. as you uh, send a, a thunder wave into both of them, uh, you you get the sense that one goes flying back uh, 10, 10 feet. Is this concentration? No. Is there invisibility? Okay, boom. All right. And uh, it is Gonk's turn. 
Is this the one that was next to Gonk flew back, or was it a different one? Um, I mean, they both kind of were. So yeah, one of them flew back. Uh, well, Gonk's uh, gonna go after this one again. Okay. Yeah, that's that's right. As you, yeah, as you swing into the air and miss again, as uh, this uh, skulk didn't didn't go flying back, is it? Um, slashes at Gonk, hitting, dealing six uh, slashing damage and an additional four necrotic damage, and it is Melrick's turn. Uh, I will cast Guiding Bolt on the uh, Skulk 1. I added that to the spell list, but it must not recognize as a as a full spell. Oh no, you just you just didn't uh you just didn't prep it. But yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. Oh I see. No, you just oh. It's weird. Yeah, I just It's a uh, range spell attack. Um, yeah, here you go. There you go. Now that, that there, now it's there. Oh, cool. As a uh, you fire where you think the the thing should be, but uh, your guiding bolt misses. As it then decides to, as the other one then gets up and runs at Gonk and decides to slash at him and hits him, dealing five uh, slashing damage and an additional 11 necrotic damage as wow. Gonk Ooh. is getting hit hard. Cassia. Cassia, seeing that Gronk's taking some damage, is going to run up kind of beside him and jab in the area where he just last got shot. Then mobile back about 10, no, 15 foot. Put her back up against the tree again. Call. Okay. Well, my very good bugbear friend looks like he's not feeling very well. So I would like to help him out. Um, could I please? I don't have a coded, of course. I need to code stuff. Um, I'd li like to cast Cure Wounds on him at second level, so... Okay, on Gonk at second level? Yeah. You got You got it? Okay. Okay, did you heal him for five points? Okay. Did you get the plus two in there? Yep. Okay. You just rolled a one and a two. Oh. Okay. As you uh, touch Gonk and uh, heal him, carrying some of his wounds, and it is Gonk's turn. Uh, Gonk's going to bonus action second win. Okay. Oh! Nice! Oh, nice. nice. Those eels, they helped you. Oh, man. Okay, that's five all. Got eight wounds. And Gonk's going to go after number 20 again. Okay. These guys suck. At first, you don't succeed, miss, and miss again. Mm. The skulk then uh, decides to uh, slash its claws at Gonk again. Oh, uh. no. Hitting him. Healing. Ten slashing damage and fourteen. Uh, necrotic damage as a uh, gonk is badly hurt. And it is Melrick's turn. I go for 
I'll do Toll the Dead on the first Skulk. Don't know if I can. Do it like that? Yep. But uh, he does uh, succeed on the saving throw. Okay. As Skulk 2 then decides to slash at Gonk also. No! Hitting him and uh, causing him to suffer a failed death save. And it is Cassius' turn. All right. Uh, Cassia is going to reach in her backpack, grab an oil flask, and throw it as hard as she can against the nearest tree that gonks at and see if she can splash these invisible creatures. Hmm. Okay, so you, want, all right, so you want to try to throw it uh, at one of the skulks. Okay, go ahead and go ahead and throw it. I guess you could just you could just make a make a bow uh, attack, and that would be the same uh, same same or a dagger attack or whatever same same modifier. Okay. As you uh, throw your uh, your flask of oil, it misses wherever they are and uh, does not uh, strike them. Well, I was trying to strike a tree and have it shatter and all the oil fly over them. Is what I was trying to get at. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, so that—that's yeah. I, I get it. That's what I was trying to do. But but you but you but but you missed them. Yeah, with that with that roll. If you had scored a hit, then yeah, it, it would have covered them in 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 oil. But it but it but you missed. All right. Uh, Brina. Gotta help Gonk again. He's tough. I want to get him up. Okay, as you uh, cure his wounds for uh, 11 this time. And heal a lot of the slashing and uh, necrotic damage that he had taken. Gonk. Well, Gonk's gonna go at it again. So for this time, he's using his inspiration to get advantage. Oh, inspiration. I forgot. <laughs> that was only one. Wait. You... No, because he's a disadvantage, so. Oh, yeah. straight, yeah. straight roll. Yeah, so he, he, he was trying to do away with his uh, mm -hmm. did disadvantage, but it, and he Got did, it. but it just still didn't hit. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. As a skulk one then uh, decides to continue slashing its claws at Gonk, hitting him, dealing uh, seven slashing damage oh, and an additional jerk. eight necrotic damages again. Gonk is not doing well. Melric. I am going to try Toll the Dead again. And it fails. Nice. As you uh, hit it with the uh, toll the toll the dead, you you feel like the uh, thing di dissipates uh, them away. All right. Well, at least one's down. Then the uh, second one then decides to. Attack Gonk again. Hitty oh, it actually misses him. <laughs> you already pulled that trigger. Mm. Well just they that's the first time they've missed. Who kid? Alright. Cassia's gonna grab her rapier. Go up by Gonk and take a I mean, the, the, the thing is, their AC is not that great. It's just, you guys just cannot hit them. Yeah. 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 And then she's going to move back 10 foot and observe uh, the ground and see if she can get a better beat on him for the next. 
Okay, Brina. Brina says, leave my friend alone. And she steps in front of Gonk and she casts Thunder Wave again. Okay. And it fails. So you blast it back 10 feet, dealing. Uh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Four, 14 uh, thunder damage is, yeah, you uh, blast it away. Are there guts everywhere? I hope there are guts. Gonk, make a death saving throw. Gonk is uh, not doing too well. Uh, Melrick will cast Cure Wounds on I'm going to use Gonk. my healing potion for the renown stuff. Hmm. He's still pretty messed up. Well. Yeah, the healing's not going to do Cassie is like in great much. shape. <laughs> She's great. Well, but your uh, your your thing is gonna wear off. She's gonna lose those temporary hit points. Uh, so, but still. So yeah, can I give Gonk my free healing potion? Yeah. Okay. Oh, did you do it? Yeah, oh, he did. I don't know. Did you do it? You drug it on me? No, I didn't do it. But I'm just gonna do it. Someone did it. Someone, uh, yeah, did, someone it. did it. <laughs> Woo! Why were those guys so hard? Uh, I think because we couldn't see them. Uh, I, I, oh. I can't believe you, you couldn't see them. They they were chasing me. I, 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 I went out into the woods to pick some mushrooms and these things just started attacking me. Thank you for saving me. How come you can see him when we can't? I I don't know. Good question. It seems real though. You can uh, roll. You... you can roll a religion check to see if you might uh, surmise what that what those could have been. All of us. Yeah, you're free to check. Yeah, anyone. For you to see if they can recall what that or know what that was. I want to check. I've never seen her since I didn't see him, but I've never heard of anything like this before. I've heard of creatures being invisible, but Brina, with claws. You uh, figure that these were um, that these were uh, skulks. And that they are invisible, and again, so she must have been able to see them because she was so young, as generally ch children 10 and under can see them. Oh, really? But adults uh, can cannot. You know that you can also uh, try to see them through uh, a mirror. Hmm. Or uh, all... Or also, if you use the uh, light of a candle uh, made from the fat rendered from a uh, corpse whose identity is unknown. What? That's very specific. <laughs> Funny, I don't have one of those in my inventory. I don't, but I feel like someone was asking about a candle earlier. Is it Cassia? No. Mm, must have been gone. Somebody was. Gonk, were you asking about candles? No, Gonk, don't ask about candles. Gonk, hungry, though. <laughs> and uh, with that, we will take our mid-session break.